All right, let's do a really quick check-in on the difference between snacks and treats. I know I've covered this before in different videos, especially when it comes to delayed gratification, but I was having a conversation with my coaching clients and I thought, you know what, this information would be helpful to hear again. So I had a client, she is uh, pre-tracking her food, breakfast, lunch, dinner. She's pre-tracking snacks. And then she tells me sometimes she wants to eat something else like cheese and crackers or go get a Starbucks coffee and you know that she's a little hungry and that that's putting her over her calories and so what we did is we first decided we were going to decipher what is a treat versus a snack so treats are not just candy cookies ice cream treats are foods that you struggle with controlling your portions so this could be pretzels cheese and crackers wine um, anything that is highly palatable that you can't like if you were just to measure out one serving chocolate covered almonds it doesn't matter the nutritional value as much as it does your lack of being able to just have one serving one you know, amount it's you fixate on it you overthink about it whatever those foods are would be treats snacks are more for your nutritional purposes and they're usually very well planned out and they're not usually super exciting. So it might be like a cup of Greek yogurt, some blueberries, it might be a couple hard boiled eggs. It's nothing that you're gonna sit there and go, ooh, an extra cup of hard boiled eggs, yes. <laughs> like that is not gonna happen. And the way that you can check in, just so you know, a little, a little trick, is when you say you're feeling hungry, Ask yourself a very simple question. If, if I was presented right now with a plate of grilled chicken, baked sweet potatoes, and uh, steamed broccoli, would I want to eat this? Would it be like, yes, give it to me, I'm starving? Or would it be like this, hmm, wasn't really in the mood for that. I was kind of coming here for a granola bar or a, um, you know, a bag of popcorn. That's not really what I was wanting. So in that moment, you know, it's not hunger. Like you can call BS on that. <laughs> and you can be like, hmm, yeah, I'm not really hungry. Let's just call it what it is. I am either bored, I have anxiety, I'm feeling emotional, or heck, I just want something that tastes good. And that is reality, right? So first off, create a master list for yourself of treats. That way you are hyper aware of it. And then what I was talking to her about was using delayed gratification to help with this particular issue. So you pre-block out your day, you've got all your meal times, we talked all about this during COVID, you have your schedule of meal times, you know when you're supposed to be eating, so you're not just randomly deciding to eat, right? And then you've got your meals, you've got your snacks, and then all of a sudden you just get this inkling for a Starbucks coffee or some chocolate covered almonds or whatever. And what you can do is uh, several different approaches. One of them I do is I make myself wait 24 hours. So I say, okay, you really want that Starbucks, Heather, but you didn't pre-budget for it. You didn't pre-track it. You know you're not really hungry because I've just done the, the chicken, sweet potato, broccoli check-in. And really this is an impulse. You impulsively want this or you want a distraction. You want a reason to get out of the house, whatever. And so what you do is you say, tomorrow I'm gonna go jump ahead. I'm gonna add this to my journal for tomorrow or my food log. And I'm gonna give myself permission to have it tomorrow. But if I do it in the moment, I'm being self-destructive, I'm not helping myself. So that's one approach. Another approach is, oh, I really want those chocolate covered almonds. It's not something I pre-tracked. It's not something that I had decided I was going to eat ahead of time. I know this is an impulse. I'm not really hungry. They just taste so darn delicious and I want to have some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those in a little container and when my three o'clock snack time rolls around, I'm going to make a decision. Do I want to eat the chocolate covered almonds or do I want to eat my normal Greek yogurt and my cup of blueberries? But that way I'm not adding extra calories on top of what I've already figured for the day. I'm actually doing a swap out in the moment. The other thing I want to speak to on this, and I talked quite a bit to my coaching client about this, if you're truly noticing every afternoon you are hungry because you're not eating enough protein or fiber in your day, that would be something you could adjust. Okay, so if you're noticing every day, truly around three, four o'clock, you're really hungry. 
and you're just looking at you know, different things to eat at that time, go back and look in your food and see what you're eating for breakfast, lunch, snacks. Are you getting in enough protein, enough fiber? If the answer is no, that would be a great area to start to improve to where you're not wanting as many of these sweet snacky treats. So just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of help with this. I know this is such a, like it's a generally very confusing for so many people because I know I used to think snacks were just everything. Anything that wasn't one of my three meals was a snack. And then what I had to do is kind of draw a line down the middle of the paper and say treats on this side, snacks on this side, so I could actually make progress because when snacks are all these great fun foods that are super triggering for me and I can constantly be eating them and I don't have a scheduled eating window to live by, then what ultimately happens is I'm constantly negating that calorie deficit we've talked about and I'm never making progress. But by viewing treats differently than snacks, I now can easily know, okay, these are on my treat side. So it happens at this time of the day. I don't eat treats before a certain time. And that allows me not to go overboard with my treat foods. I hope that helps. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.